What is going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists and welcome to this episode of Solo RPG. This is a kind of a series within a series. I'm going to be looking at cards or decks um, for the probably for the next few videos actually. I mean, we're going to be going over one the benefits of cards in your solo um, RPG endeavors. We kind of all know that there are some brilliant ones out there. Now we all know that uh, ordinary playing cards can play a good, important part in a role-playing game. In fact, Savage Wild utilizes a card deck, a, an ordinary standard deck of cards, for that very purpose, and you can get. All sorts of really cool. Look at this little um, tin of uh, Captain America hero, Marvel hero cards, and they're just ordinary playing cards, but they're kind of themed, if you know what I mean. Does that make a sense? So just digging them out. So we've got like the Joker and all on all the other cards. You know, they're just like that, and you know that. And that is great if you're utilizing that for, say, like a, a, a superhero RPG or something like that. I've of course, I've got my, I've got aliens ones, which again are just similar, but but at the end of the day, they're just ordinary playing cards. And what I want to look at today, or, or start to look at, are is something called concept cards. Now I came across these quite by accident, um, but I'm going to switch the camera to the other view, and I'm going, we're going to start with our first deck of concept cards, which is rural locations. Let's go. Okay, so here we are with our concept cards, and these are based on ordinary cards, i.e., in that you've got. You kind of got diamonds, clubs, hearts, and spades, but it's kind of done slightly differently. Now, in each deck of these concept cards, you get how to read the cards. You get like a little sheet here, and it will tell you here. For, for this one, for example, clubs represent dangers or defense. Uh, defense is present. Diamonds represent the treasure or valuables available there. Hearts represent people or animals and how welcoming they are. Spades represent the physical features of the area. And then there's a secret that is not commonly known about the area. And then there's other things. And there's a whole way of of playing this as a, an actual game. But look at the possibilities for solo roleplay here. So pick this one for example. Yellow Moss Cavern is actually a whole cavern system. The only source of sun cloth, a fashionable and luminescent fabric. Now, it's got rapidly growing darkness. The moss uh, used to make sun cloth lit the caverns for centuries, but now it's mostly been, been harvested. Venomous bats, they nest near the growing moss and don't like being disturbed. So as the creatures are there. Jealous harvesters, they're not keen on more competition. And then there's a secret, which you can turn the card upside down to read. Slow acting toxicity. Sun cloth and the moss from which it is made is toxic. Long term exposure can cause insanity, weakness, and even death. And that's just brilliant. You, know, you just come across that in your, in your game. There's all sorts of locations like Farmer's Market, Mithril Mine, Merchant Cavern, Diamond Mine. There's all sorts here, narrow cave opening, Greenleaf Lodge, Fangclaw Territory. For sale, some, some place for sale. <laughs> it's awesome. Wolf hunting grounds, you know. And you can just use these for random, random um, places to go in your, in your solo RPG, you just shuffle them up. These aren't shuffled yet, but you just shuffle them. Up. That must be like a Joker or something. Oh, look, you got these here Total Eclipse, Unmapped Town. These are slightly different. Utterly dull. <laughs> Nothing to do. Yeah, these are Jokers. Here we go. Active Volcano. The lower slopes are covered in new growth forests, the upper slopes are barren and rocky. And the peak is filled with molten rock. 
Got danger of eruption. It's rare, but when it happens, the landscape changes in moments and very little survives. You got abundant crops. Volcanic ash is incredibly fertile once it cools. And hardy mountain folk. They know the mountain and can feel its moods. And then, of course, your secret. They got the djinn worshippers. In the crater lives a djinn, a powerful fire spirit, and the locals sacrifice people to it each summer. It would grant them any wish, but only one wish each year. They always wish for it not to erupt. There you go. So, you know, you've got these kind of things when you're role-playing. I mean, for D&D &D or something like that, it's, it's perfect, absolutely brilliant. Or, or any kind of fantasy role-playing game. Absolutely brilliant. This is Rural Locations. I can't rate them highly enough. I came across them on eBay. And I just just type in concept RPG concept cards, and you should get a um, a link to a few of these. There's a whole load of them. There's, you've got epic locations as well, um, and each thing like you can have like treasure cards, and you, know, you can have like epic treasure cards and things like. That. I'm slowly in the process of collecting them. I'm building up enough for uh, my RPGing, which is going to be super cool. I'm hoping to get a plot one, plot hook one. I mean, I've got books with tables in that, but I'm, I'm, the more I work with decks, the more I'm digging them. I like cards, they're, they're nice. Um, cards and dice, yeah, awesome. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this. I hope you can find some use for it and, and track some down for yourselves. Uh, for use in your solo RPGs. Let me know how you you incorporate cards into your solo RPG games and uh, Or even your normal RPG games. Just, just just let me know down below Don't forget if you want to help support me and you can check out my patreon uh, account Which the link to which that is on my home page or home screen and there are all sorts of benefits you can get depending on which level you opt for so and there's going to be some really cool RPG stuff coming in the future on the Patreon side of things. But if not, just like the video if you like it. Thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like it. Uh, and that's fine too. It's all interaction and I don't mind which, which is your bag. Thanks so much for watching. Share if you can. And I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye for now, folks. Bye-bye.